Hi everybody, I'm Husky Light, thank you for stopping by. I'm going to talk about the collective consciousness, uh, the universal consciousness, the Akashic records that somebody or some people like to call it. I relate the two very, very closely together. Um, I'm bringing this up because about three days ago, I thought to myself, I'm going to do a video for you. Um, I'm going to show you a very powerful healing technique on getting rid of past memories that are bad, that are traumatic, that you need to um, bring up and release the pain from. And I have a very powerful technique for that, that I use in my spiritual counseling. And I thought, well, do you know what? Instead of just doing it for them, um, I will bring it onto YouTube and show you how to do it as well. Now, this was about three days ago and I got caught up in other things and I was sorting my new PC out and um, I didn't get to do it. Yesterday morning I came to do it and before I did it I just happened to be flicking through some YouTube videos and um, quite a big YouTuber uh, I clicked on and um, there was nothing in the title and I'm watching, I'm watching this video and suddenly they came out and said, I'm going to show you this healing technique. And almost, it was almost identical to my technique that I use. And I sat there absolutely gobsmacked watching them going, I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're putting this out on YouTube when I was just about to do it. This is crazy. And I thought about it all day yesterday <laughs> thinking, do you know, I can't, I can't do this blooming video that I wanted to do now because people are going to turn around and go, oh, you copied them, you copied them because we saw that one too and you caught, and it's not a case of that. It led me down the road to sort of thinking, well, why, why on this particular day at this particular time do I happen to come across this YouTube video giving out exactly the same technique at the same time that I was just about to, to do? And it's because of the collective consciousness, it's because we are a part of that, that this has happened. Now, we are at, they are in America, I'm over in the UK, but we put our thoughts up into, you know, every thought we have produces an energy, it's an energy vibration, and every thought we have, which is why I say that they're so important, goes up into the ether, goes up into this collective consciousness, and other people in other places can pick up on these thoughts now they will do it subconsciously for all i know this other youtuber may have thought of doing this video a week ago and i actually picked up on their thoughts three days ago or they picked up on my thoughts three days ago and then suddenly yesterday morning thought oh, i'll do a video on this and it goes like this we share our thoughts I liken it very much, you know, people say the Akashic Records and what are the Akashic Records and the Akashic Records is basically this huge library of every thought, every invention, every answer, everybody's imprint um, that they make on the, on the world while they're alive in their physical body, all being recorded by these Akashic Records will I take the Akashic Records as the universal consciousness because the same thing happens. We put our thoughts up into the ether and then they they come down again and each of us pick up those thoughts. When we're saying, ask the universe for what you want, um, apart from your guides and angels, you can go up into the universal consciousness and say, right, I, I need an answer to this. Uh, can you help me? say your washing machine isn't working properly and you don't want it you don't want to get somebody in and do it you sort of think well i'd like to look at that myself i'd like to fix my own washing machine how do i do that how would i fix my washing machine and you think about the problem you think about what's wrong with it i hope my washing machine doesn't break down later <laughs> because i'm saying this <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest but you think about it and then within a few hours or a couple of days or a few days depending on how connected you are depending on how high your vibration is spiritually you will start to get the answers through on how to fix your washing machine so you may hear part of a conversation in a supermarket and it will be 
part of the answer to fix the washing machine or you'll happen a YouTube video will come up for you and it will be how to fix your washing machine. I spent all day with a friend yesterday who um, fixes PCs. Now, as you know, my PC is just um, broken down and I took my PC around and I also took an old laptop around to be looked at as well, which has been sat in my cupboard for like two years. It's one of the first ones I started YouTube with, which also went kaput. I've gone through three, four computers now <laughs> and laptops within the time I've been on YouTube because they tend to break down around me, whether that's my slider influence uh, affecting electrical items, I don't know, um, strongly suspect it probably is, um, but I took it down, I spent all, all day there yesterday after deciding, I thought, well, I can't do, I can't do a video on my, my healing technique now because somebody else has just brought it out and, and beaten me to it. Um, and first thing this morning when I clicked into YouTube, uh, a video pops up that said, um, testing my laptop to see if it works. Okay then, okie dokie then. So all of your thoughts go up into the collective consciousness and that information is there for you to be able to tap in and get that information and get those answers down from. When we look back in history, um, Thomas, uh, Thomas Edison and Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone as we know it today, but Thomas Edison also had the same idea around the same time. They were in different parts of the country. I'm not sure if they were in separate countries, but they picked up on each other's thoughts and it just happened to be Graham Bell that came forward with that idea and put it into creativity and bring it into reality first. So he was the one that was credited with inventing the telephone. But Thomas Edison had also done it at the same time or around the same time, they'd had the same thoughts. He just didn't get his out first. So this is how the collective consciousness works. Now I have decided that, watch out because I'll do it today. I am going to do the healing technique because some of you won't have seen their video on the other YouTube channel. You may not know what I'm talking about and I may be able, I may explain it and go through it in a slightly different way than this other person did and I, I actually will because hers was almost identical but there were some slight differences in there which which uh, I do differently but it was the whole concept of it being wow really musicians as well this happens with musicians or it happens with actors um, people who are very creative people who are artistic can pick up on each other's thoughts and it, again part of the collective consciousness the universal consciousness so maybe somebody is writing a song um, or creating a piece of music and they're practicing it and they're focusing on it and they're thinking about it um, and then they'll find they'll turn on the radio one day and somebody's already done it it's already out there no thought is particularly a new thought because at one point or another, somebody else around the world has had that thought and put it out there. And it's for us when we're looking for answers to be able to pick up on what we need to know at that time. So I thought that was a really good story to tell you and to try and explain what the collective consciousness is. This is why we say always keep your thoughts positive because as long as your thoughts are positive, you are putting that out into the ether, other people will pick up on it. Now, of course, we all have, um, depending on where we live and our community or our religion or our uh, mind, we have smaller collectives. You know, if, um, if I was living in a, an Indian tribe or something out in India, I would have a collective mindset with the other Indians that I'm living with and, and their way of life and their culture and everything else and how, how you're brought up. So they have their own individual um, collective ones. A community will have community thoughts um, about how you live with people around you, what, because you're all sort of experiencing the same things. But every little community, every little town, 
um, put them all together and it turns into this universal consciousness which you can literally just bring these answers down as you need them but if you're thinking of creating something and doing something be quick about it because if you're not quick enough somebody else picks up on that idea or that thought oh I'll do that today that's a good that little bit of inspiration that's come down and you might realize that hey hang on a minute that just came from me or maybe it came from the other way around which way around was it who got it out first but you can see the principle of it and the way collective consciousness works so I hope this helped I am going to bring out the technique today as I said because you can do it in a different way but ask the universe for what you want ask for the answers whether it's whether a loved one is going to come back or whether you're going to sort out a, a certain problem um, because don't forget that their thoughts are also going up into the universe, into the ether as well. So you can pick up on their thoughts as well sometimes. But whatever it is, whatever, whether it is to, to fix your washing machine or you are inventing something um, or thinking about something, do it quick. <laughs> so namaste. I will be back on with you in a little bit. I uh, hope this helped and I will speak to you soon. Bye.